collision and subtraction of polynomials. We can just simply combine similar terms. Of course, if we're going to subtract a polynomial, you have to change the signs of the expression that we or the polynomial that we are going to subtract. But here, if we're going to add these polynomials, 3a minus 2b plus c squared n, we are going to add this to 4a plus 6b minus 9c squared. Okay. We're just going to combine similar terms. So, pag addition, uh, sabi nga dun sa mga unang uh, principles na 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 discuss natin for grouping um just uh, if the preceding uh, sign is positive um, just copy the copy the signs for each and if you want to remove the grouping of this one 3a minus 2b plus c squared so copy 4a 6b 9c squared so, combine similar terms, hanapin yung like terms, uh, hanapin lang yung same variable at same yung exponent variable. Ayan, 3a and 4a. Combine them, 3, 3a plus 4a, so 3 plus 4, 7, copy the variable, then negative 2b plus 6b, similar terms, like terms, so negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4b and c squared and negative 9c squared i-add mo sila okay so negative 8c squared that's it that's the answer kapag naman gusto mo isubtract kung pinapasubtract naman itong dalawang term all we need to do is change the sign of the second polynomial. Okay. So, pinapasubtract yan. Okay, we were going to rewrite. And minus 4a minus 6b magiging positive na to 9c squared then apply addition by combining similar terms so magiging 3a minus 4a negative a negative 1a negative 2b minus 6b ano na uh, negative 8b positive c squared plus 9c squared magiging 10c squared that's it that's the answer if we subtract the two. Multiplication of polynomials. To multiply a polynomial by, an, by a monomial, multiply each term of the polynomial by the monomial. Okay? And to multiply one polynomial by another, multiply each term of either by each term of the other. Combine similar terms. So, first, doon muna tayo sa una. Sa unang sasagutan, kung saan kapag imumultiply mo daw yung polynomial sa isang monomial. Kanyari ito, x squared plus 2x. Multiply siya sa 3x. Okay, gagawin lang natin is mumultiply natin itong monomial doon sa kada term. Okay, 3x times x squared, multiply the coefficient, 3 times 1, 3, then, kapag multiply mo naman ang variable, x times x squared, ano nga yun? Ito, may exponent yan na 1, invisible. So, kapag multiply natin ang variable na may exponent, mag-a-add yung kanilang exponent. Yeah. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, ito naman, uh, 
Kung multiply naman natin itong positive 3x sa positive 2x. So, copy the sign. Since parehas naman sila positive. So, 3 times 2. Multiply the coefficient. 6. Then, x times x. 1 times 1. 1 plus 1. 2. Okay. So, that's the answer. Kapag naman polynomial yung parehas na polynomial yung multiply mo. Okay? Multiply daw each term of either each term of the other. Then, combine similar terms. Example, x squared plus 2x plus 1 to be multiplied by x minus 1. So, gagawin muna natin, imumultiply natin muna yung isang term dun sa lahat. Okay? x cube times x times 2x, 1 times 2, 2, add exponent, x squared, and we will have x times 1, positive x. Negative 1 times x squared, negative x squared. So, kapag multiply na natin itong pangalawa dito sa lahat, ia-align na natin yung sagot natin na makukuha na kung saan uh, similar yung term niya. So, negative 1 times x squared is x squared. So, alin dito yung like term? Dito. So, dito natin siya ay align. x squared negative. Negative 1 times 2x, positive 2x, ang makuha natin niya ay, ay negative 2x. So, dito siya similar. Kaya, negative 2x. Then, negative 1 times positive 1, negative 1. That's it we can add the two uh, expressions na minultiply natin galing doon. So, combine similar terms, x cubed, 2x squared minus x squared, x squared, positive x squared, x minus 2x, okay, negative, kasi mas malaki tong 2, 2 minus 1, is 1, so x na lang siya, and bring down negative 1. So, that's the answer. Division of polynomials. To divide a polynomial by a monomial, divide each term of the polynomial by the monomial. Example, meron tayo 6 a raised to 3 B squared minus 12 a squared b cubed minus 3 a b plus 4 to be divided by 3 a b okay so we draw 3 a b so dito yung portion natin para sa quotient quotient So, uh, in division of polynomials, we will just think of numbers and variables that will satisfy or uh, will give the uh, same result for each term for us to subtract and cancel out each term here and determine the quotient. So, 3AB, ano multiply natin sa 3AB para magi 6A cubed B squared. So, unahin natin yung kanyang numerical coefficient na 3 times 2 para maging 6. So, 6. Then, para maging a cube, ano yung multiply natin sa a? So, di ba, kapag parehas ang base ng ano, ng, ng dalawang uh, term, uh, kapag minultiply natin yung dalawa, ia-add natin yung kanilang exponent. Kaya ito, a raised to 2. Para maging b squared naman, b times b equals to b squared. So, ito mag a cube na to, b squared. So, susubtract na natin yung dalawa. Wala na to. Bring down negative 12 a squared b cube. So, na naman, imumultiply natin sa 3ab para maging negative 12 b squared b cube. So, para maging negative din to, negative din dapat ang sign dyan. So, 4, 4 times 3, negative 12. Then, A, 
a times a, a squared. Para maging b cubed, dapat to b squared to. b squared times b, b cubed. So, when we subtract that, ibig sabihin, mapapalitan yung sign nito, makakancel na siya. Bring down negative 3a, b raised to 4. So, ano naman ulit ang isa, uh, imumultiply natin sa 3ab. So, para maging negative, negative din ang sign nito. Okay, 1 na lang. 1 times 3 is 3. A, meron na din A. Para maging b raised to 4, b raised to 3 ang meron natin. So, b raised to 3, multiply natin na sa 3ab. Makukuha natin ay negative 3ab raised to 4. So, 0. May sabihin, walang remainder. Okay? No remainder. Kasi kapag yung pinaka-last term natin na tinibayad natin ay magbigay ng value at hindi mag-exacto, yun yung ating. O hindi mag-zero, yun yung remainder niya. So, ito ay exacto lang yung sakot natin kapag dinibayad natin itong dalawang terms na to. Now, let's try to divide two polynomials. Uh, 5x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus 3 and divided by x squared minus 4x plus 2x. So, all we need to do is first arrange them by descending powers. So, arrange each, ano, each term into descending powers. So, this one, yung dividend natin na 5x squared. Okay? Pangalawa siya. So, mauna ay yung negative 2x raised to 3 plus 5x squared. So, supposedly, meron dapat tayo dito x raised to, x raised to 1. So, may magbigay tayo ng space para dyan kasi wala. And yung constant natin na 3, positive 3, to be divided by x squared minus 2x minus 4. So, let's divide. So, x squared, para maging negative 2x cubed, mumultiply natin na coefficient ay negative 2. And para maging x cubed times x. So, negative 2x times x squared, magiging negative 2x cubed. Ito naman, negative 2x times negative 2x magiging positive. Positive 4x squared. Then, negative 2x times negative 4 magiging positive 8x. Okay. So, subtract. Magiging opposite yung sign niya. Magiging positive to. So, cancel na siya. Ito naman, magiging negative to. Okay, magiging negative yan. 5x squared minus 4x squared is 1x squared or x squared. So, ito 0. Okay, 0 yan yung para sa, sana sa may term ng x, pero wala. Doon sa dividend. Therefore, we bring down lang natin itong uh, 8x. Kaya lang, since isusubtract natin, mapapalitan siya ng sign. And, positive 3. Next, x squared, okay. So, x squared na siya, yung unang term. So, just multiply 1 plus 1. So, plus 1, copy x squared minus 2x minus 4. Then, subtract the two expressions. Cancel out to. Ito magiging positive. So, negative 8x squared magiging uh, plus 2x magiging negative ito ko na lang ilagay negative 6x okay kasi nga isusubtract natin ito ibig sabihin itong lahat na ito magpapalit ng sign positive 3 minus 4 o minus negative 4 magiging positive ano positive 4 siya so positive 7 na siya therefore this is the remainder. And we have a quotient of negative 
2x plus 1. So that's our final uh, topic for this lesson. Okay. Right now, it's time for you to answer the problems uh, that is in your worksheet. So, nasa last part ng ating module ang ating worksheet and this will be submitted online on Leons. Thank you. I hope you learn something here in fundamentals of engineering mathematics. And if you have other inquiries, just chat on the messenger group chat. Thank you. God bless.